What's up everybody? It's been a while since I made a video. Um, I've been involved with a lot of schoolwork and stuff. I'm going to do one today. Uh, it's about a new deck that I'm working on. Uh, it's not new, it's been an old deck in the works. Um, it's blue-black control. I call it my blue-black titan control just because of what I play in it. Um, but it is in a work in progress for a tournament I'm going to coming up here on the 2nd. Um, just a local tournament, but um, they have some really, really good prizes, so uh, I'm hoping to do pretty good in that. First place is like a signed artist print of Goldrass Assassin, a box, and something else. And second place is just as good, so um, yeah, I'm hoping to do really, really good in that, hopefully, and we'll see how that goes. Um, so let's go take a look at the deck. Alright everybody, here's the deck all laid out. Uh, another thing I want to say is thank you to all my subscribers. Uh, I hit 100 not too long ago, and um, that's awesome. I, I'm i pretty happy about that. Um, again, I'm also doing that that contest still. I only need a thousand subscribers to, do, to give away a box of the new Magic set that's going to be released. Um, Action, I think is what it's called. Um, new Phyrexia or Mirrored and Pure. So, you know, if I can get a thousand, I'll I'll give a box away, guys. Um, but yeah, thanks for everybody who subscribed to me, and it's awesome that I have a hundred now. Um, that being said, let's take a look at the deck. Um, I call it my blue blue black Titan control, uh, mostly because of instead of using worm coil engines and stuff, I just use the Titans. Um, it's done extremely well for me actually for all the testing that I've done around around my local area um, so we'll just get right into here here's the, the titans that I'm using I'm using three grave titans and two frost titans and in the sideboard I have another frost titan just in case um, you know grave titan doesn't seem to be you know as what as good as frost titan in that game I'll take out a frost Titan or a grave titan and switch in a frost titan um, so for some removal, creature removal, I've got four Go for the Throats and two Black Sun Zenith. I also have two Black Sun Zenith in the uh, sideboard. Um, and I got some uh, Control, uh, Inquisition of Kozilek times two and Duress times two. Uh, this will this will be four Inquisitions as soon as I can find them all. But uh, this is this seems to work okay for right now. And then four mana leaks. I'm also most likely going to try to add uh, four deprives also. Um, and then I have some drawing cards. I've got four Seagate Oracles, um, two Blue Sun Zenith. I really, really like the Blue Sun Zenith just because it's an instant. I was a real big fan of uh, Mind. What's it called? Anyways, Brain Geyser and stuff like that. I was a really big fan of that, so I really like this card and the fact that it's an instant. So. And then four Preordains, of course. Um, and then four Jaces, also. And for lands, I have a pretty good setup for lands, I think. Um, I'm running three Tectonic Edges just because of everybody that's using the dual lands and the Creeping Tar Pits and stuff like that. It's... A really good defense in my book. Uh, four creeping tar pits, three ink moth nexus, uh, just for some fast little guys out there. If I don't get a titan out fast enough, I'll kill him slowly with poison, you know. Uh, four drowned catacombs, four dark slick shores, uh, five islands, and four swamps. And that's the deck right there. It's uh, pretty straightforward, honestly. You just, you know, try to control the board as much as you can with mana leaks, and you know, you take stuff out of their hand, and you try to get through your deck as far as fast as you can, get some lands down, and get a titan out there. Um, you know, get a grave titan out there going, and usually when grave titan or frost titan start hitting, it's pretty much game over. Um, the only deck it really has trouble with right now is the Valakut deck a little bit. Um, in the sideboard I also have four uh, spreading seas, so I'll bring I bring those in for the Valakut deck. Um, I usually take out a couple other things, uh, stuff like, I don't know, Black Sun Zenith for Valakut, just because there's not terrible amount of creatures played. 
But um, so yeah, I'll take those out for Valakut and put in um, Spreading Seas, and along with my Tech Edges. So those are pretty good. Uh, that's my version of my black blue control. It, it works for me. Uh, I'm not saying that's good good or anything, but uh, hopefully it'll do good this this coming weekend. So thanks for watching, guys.